Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes. I'm the founder of parttimecommander.com. I'm a former Army major and what we're going to talk about today are the Army Company XO duties and responsibilities. This is going to pertain to the Army, the National Guard, and the Army Reserve. The role of an XO in any of those entities is more or less the same. An Army company is typically about 80 to 120 people in that range. Some are a little smaller, some are a little bigger. A commander leads the company, normally a captain. They have a deputy commander, which is their XO, which is in most cases a senior first lieutenant. Could be a second lieutenant, though, as well. The commander leads the company and the XO runs the company. So the commander is focused on the strategic work, the vision, the mission, where they want the organization to be in the future, growing and leading the organization, whereas the XO is handling or managing the day-to-day -day operations in the company. Think of the commander as future operations. Think of the XO and the first sergeant as current operations. Anything that needs to be done today, that's normally going to be handled by the XO. If it's strategic work, big picture work, that's going to be done by the company commander. They always support the commander in their priorities. Each command relationship is a little bit different. Every unit is different. The mission of every unit is different. Leaders have different skills and personalities, and the relationship between the XO and the commander is going to vary. It might be different in an infantry company with a certain leader as compared to a quartermaster company with a different leader. They do more or less the same things, but some of the small things that they do uh, will vary based off the personality, the skill set, and the mission. In most cases, the company XO is handling the supply, transportation, admin, and maintenance. If you get only one thing from this video, that is the biggest responsibility of an XO. They're handling the supply, the transportation, the admin, and the maintenance. When I say handle it, they're supervising it, they're overseeing it. The NCOs are actually running it. They're just making sure that it gets done, it gets done right, on time, to standard. As problems arrive, arise, they fix it. But they're working closely with the maintenance sergeant, the readiness sergeant, or the training NCO. They're working with the supply sergeant to make sure any of those things are getting handled. They also serve as a liaison with the battalion staff. They're going to work closely with the battalion XO to make sure that the company is accomplishing the battalion objectives. A battalion is normally three to five companies. Each of those companies has an XO. They're working with the battalion XO, which is normally a major, and they're just making sure the supply, the maintenance, the admin is getting done. Everything that needs to be submitted is getting turned in on time. A good XO is also going to work with the platoon leaders. They're going to mentor, help, and support the platoon leaders. Some XOs get a power trip. They think they're in charge of the platoon leaders. They're not. They work for the commander, just like the XO does. A good XO, though, is going to work closely with the platoon leaders. They're going to mentor them because, in most cases, they're senior to them. They've been in the Army longer. They have more experience. They're also going to help the platoon leaders put out issues as they arise that don't need to be handled by the commander. An XO has a lot to do with training management. They're going to help run the training meeting. They might run it themselves or they might assist in running the training meeting. They're going to work with the training NCO in the unit to make sure that any resources that are needed are secured, they're locked in, they're squared away. In a lot of cases, the XO is also going to have some additional duties and they're going to work as the supply or maintenance officer in the unit. As I mentioned earlier, each command relationship is unique. The best thing you can do if you are an XO, is sit down with your company commander face to face and ask them, what do you see my responsibilities as, sir? What are the two, three, four biggest things that I should be focusing most of my time on? If you haven't done that yet, chances are it's going to be the supply, the transportation, the admin, and the maintenance. But talk with your commander. Find out what's important to them. Find out what they see your role as. And then whatever it is, do it and do your best. And I will end with this. Whether you have a good commander or a bad company commander, your job as the XO is to, number one, make the commander look good, and more importantly, make the unit be successful. So even if your commander, maybe they're just not very squared away, you need to step things up a bit and help fill that role and make sure the unit is successful. If you have a great commander, can consider yourself lucky. If you do or don't, Still, you want to work closely with the first sergeant and realize the XO and the first sergeant, you are both current operations. You're running the unit on a day-to-day -day basis, or if you're in the Guard Reserve on a month-to-month -month basis. 
but you want to help the unit become successful. You want to understand that one day you're going to be a commander and you're going to have an XO working for you and you're going to want them to support you and be squared away. And that's exactly what you should do while you're the XO. I appreciate you watching my video in the description box below this video. I have a link to my website. We have over 1,300 articles for officers, NCOs, and the National Guard and Army Reserve. I also have a company XO guide. You can check that out. That is a resource for National Guard and Army Reserve company XOs. Check that out. Thank you for your service. Thank you for watching this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps our channel out a lot. If you have a friend who would enjoy this video or a peer, please make sure you share it with them. Tell them about our website, parttimecommander.com. With that, I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.